uh, we're looking at a pretty clear day coming in on this 4th of July. We are celebrating with our American neighbors, and it's been wonderful to have David uh, and Julie Jacobson now joining us here. And it's funny because as you came out, the first thing a mother always knows, <laughs> uh, you know, we were looking at uh, when, uh, when's uh, jewelry here, your daughter. Uh, and so it's, it's not, mother always knows her daughter's jewelry. I know. Uh, wow, how did you get that? Well, well that's always fun to see. Uh, so to see her stuff. Well, we were thinking too, because a lot of people are putting emphasis on this party. I mean, a lot of people really look forward to it, and it's such a, a fun thing to be able to go to. But you got to be garden style, chic, and, and a lot of people thinking about it. So, how do you anticipate people coming out uh, and doing things for this party today? You know, we get everything. People come in their ball gowns, people come in blue jeans, but I'd say the most typical is kind of sundresses for women and men in their sort of natty khakis and striped red and blue shirts, typical. They've got the colors on. Yeah, we get a lot of, people are way better than we are at doing that. <laughs> do it. You're doing it. I, do, I really tried to you're go rock, all out for you guys today. With the sparkles. Well, yeah. thank you. And I've learned a couple of things because your daughter, Wynn, has some beautiful jewelry. Are you proud of what she's been able to accomplish Absolutely. with that? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. It's been this has been a real family experience. All four of us, our son's been at McGill, and Wynn has been here for a good part of the time, and uh, the four of us I'll talk about. It was wonderful for all of us. We will always have this Canada experience uh, as an incredible part of our lives. Very special four years. Everyone took on a special project, and so I think to be able to celebrate a full family thing, we should actually bring Wynn in. What do you think about that? So. <laughs> Drove you in? Yeah, no, yeah. Hi, mom. Hi, dad. Yeah, I almost ruined it the other day. Did you almost ruin the surprise? Uh, uh, it's, it's one, you know, and it's, it's such a wonderful family to see, and this has been a lot of growth for, for everyone, but for you, when you're saying, you know, you came, you finished university, you started a jewelry company, what was the kind of, take us through a little bit of what your experience was like here. Uh, I was in Ottawa for two years doing jewelry, um, which was amazing, and then about a year and a half ago I moved to Montreal. I was doing marketing with RW & Co, and I've loved every minute of it, and I'm very sad to leave, but today will be a good way to finish it all off. I'm excited to be a party. Was it interesting to see the projects that your children took on while they were here and trying to make the most and kind of get their personalities, their interests in as well? I, I think one of the very best things, and, and this is great to have <laughs> Julie and Wynn here, one of the very best things about this job was it wasn't just my job, it was my whole family's job. And I think that all four of us have grown in the course of the last four years, and that's just been incredible. I think as a parent, you're, lo you're looking at your dad's yeah, you shoes. Got, you got to see your shoes. <laughs> There's the mom. <laughs> we got the, we picked you, them out. Yeah. Who picked them out? I you did. did. You picked out your yes. daughter's we shoes. We were in New yeah. York, and yeah. I saw them, and I said, she's just got to have them. That is awesome. That is really, really awesome. Could you pick out your daughter's jewelry? Uh, you know, I'm, I'm better at shoes than I am at jewelry. Uh, it's, it's wonderful to see. So the projects that you did, this was something, and I know over, you know, a couple years ago we had you on the show as yeah. well. This was growth for you, and you really got yourself into that industry as well here. You, yeah. People still, I mean, you've got beautiful pieces here, and I know, you know, you, you look at some of them. People can still actually get you to make certain things, and, and you're still open to that idea. Yeah, I still do custom designs, and I still have some pieces left, so some people come in and contact me and want to get them, and I still have some stuff on display at Ronaldo's actually right yeah. across the street. Um, but yeah, no, I still do it in my free time and I love doing yeah. it. <laughs> you see, and, and I know you were very proud wearing her pieces and then having that. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's been fantastic. Whatever color I'm wearing that day, when? Can you make me something green today? Can you make me something blue today? I've had a, a personal jeweler who's been very helpful in this role. Uh, did you ever think, when you, when you thought about this experience, what types of things and the type of growth that you would have, uh, where the children would end up, where their passions would be? When we came, they were right at that time in their life, that the becoming stage. They were either in university or just coming out. And so, as every parent, you're just waiting to see what they turn into. And I think Canada has had a strong effect, the direction for both of them. Um, Jeremy's about to go to Japan to teach English for a year, but living in Canada, learning French while he's here, I think was a big factor in him wanting to pursue the languages. And for when absolutely, all of her experiences in Canada have shaped her so much, and we're very proud of both of them. 
Well, it's been an honor to know all of you. It's, it's really been wonderful. Uh, you've been such great rep representatives, uh, both of the people of the country and what you've, what you've done for us here. I mean, it's so many different charitable events that we've seen you at, and so thank you so much. Uh, and I'm glad we had a little bit of a, of, of a family reunion, a nice little surprise <laughs> well, for sure. You couldn't get Jeremy to wake up when I said <laughs> <laughs> you had him up. No, no, maybe we'll just have to ask him in a couple different yeah, languages. Give an afternoon <laughs> show. <laughs> uh, we'll have uh, plenty more to bring for you uh, here on CTV Morning Live, so stay with us. We're back after this.